want to keep your eyes healthy eyes are the windows of the soul and we need to keep them healthy to keep seeing this beautiful world until we live many of us start facing eye issues because we are uh, looking at a lot of smartphones looking at a lot of laptop and it's inevitable these days and we get spectacles and we children we see children getting spectacles and people getting spectacles at a very early age and i researched a lot of books on ayurveda and i brought down nine simple steps to keep your eyes healthy and if you want to know those nine simple nuggets to keep your eye healthy i invite you to watch this video completely till the end namaste this is sachin abar founder of self healers hub and i'm on a mission to help 100000 busy working professionals live a healthier happier and a more energetic lifestyle by mastering their digestion by mastering food and emotional habits by using the ancient indian science of ayurveda and today i want to talk to you about nine simple nuggets to keep your eyes healthy or in simpler words nine simple ways to keep your eyes healthy are you ready to learn this type out in the chat box rts ready to start type out in the chat box rts ready to start put on your seat belts and let me share my screen with you and give you the nine simple ways to keep your eyes healthy all right let me share my screen and let me open up my mind map all right so here it is here it is the nine steps for having good eye health okay the first one the first one let's see that okay let's see that what is the first one let's understand what is eyes see eyes ladies and gentlemen is a pitta organ you have to understand eyes are a pitta organ what is a pitta organ it represents fire it represents the sun so eyes are a pitta organ okay so you need to be aware that whatever will increase pitta will make your eyes weak as simple as that it will make if the pitta gets imbalanced the eyes will become weak so that is the first point you need to understand so what is eye eye is a pitta organ all right so second one you have to understand is washing our eyes at least four times a day if you are going out a lot if you are not two to three times is enough once when you wake up in the morning you need to wash the eye i think many of you do that second after eating the food then you wash the eyes third in the evenings when you finish your work i'll repeat these three places where you need to do once once you get up in the morning second immediately after you finish your lunch wash your eyes third is you wash your eyes once you complete your work that's the, complete the work of the day you looked at the laptop long enough you have looked at the mobiles long enough you wash your eyes all right so this will help you make your eyes very strong because the cool water will reduce the pitta and in the evening afternoon time pitta is high again you wash your eyes it will cool down your pitta so this is the reason why i'm telling you to wash your eyes at least two to three times a day if you are going out best to watch four times a day and you will see your eyes become stronger dark circles also start improving this is really powerful use it use it and see all right what is the next what is the next one what is the next one let's go ahead and see the next next is thratak meditation yes so thratak meditation is very powerful what is thratak meditation in yogic system is focusing on one object at a time so in my case what i do is the ghee lamp or the lamp lamp through the deepam oil put the deepam oil and have a lamp and focus on the lamp for at least 2 to 5 minutes and when i'm focusing on the lamp i will wait until there are water in my eyes i will wait until there is water in my eyes i will look at the lamp and wait until there is water in my eyes when that happens you need to stop doing it you need to close your eyes and just wash your eyes with that water i repeat when you are looking at the lamp the flame and the water starts coming off it out of your eyes that's when you just close your eyes and let the eyes get washed by that water which has come out so this is very powerful this improves your focus this improves your concentration and this improves the strength of your eyes 
okay so focusing on one object at a time maybe it's a ghee lamp a deepam lamp or something which is far away from you but make sure you're doing this throttak meditation going to be really powerful for your eye health is this useful until here i hope it is so let's move on to the next one yes revati ji you can see the early morning sun rays for few minutes but if you are waking up so early by 6 am or 7 am so based on practicality i am giving an easier solution of having a lamp that everyone can do it everyone can light a lamp everyone can look at it easier solution also sun rays also work thank you for asking the question that also works lamp is an easier solution a ghee lamp or a deepam oil lamp you can light and you can watch it okay revati thank you for asking that question and uh, getting that answered i hope i answered that question yeah so next 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 what it is rotating the eyes rotating the eyes is also very useful so what is this rotating the eyes is so seeing the left like you know seeing a left and right there up and down left right up down yeah using the eyes well using the eyes well this will also make sure your eyes are healthy rotating the eyes next what it is next is meditation at least 11 to 30 minutes of meditation is very powerful for you so when you close your eyes you are resting your eyes you are not sleeping don't think meditation is sleeping when you are in the 11 to 13 minutes of meditation you can either keep your eyes half closed or little open at least little open so that you don't fall asleep but 11 to 13 minutes when you are closing your eyes you are conserving that energy because you are not you know activating the sense right you are not activating the eyes sense you are not activating it because you are not seeing you are closing for 11 to 13 minutes and you are conserving at least 20% of the energy of the eyes 20% of the energy of your eyes is conserved it's conserved okay so this really is powerful okay so when you start looking in the eyes you are using the eyes the whole day and you are just uh, resting them when you sleep right only when you sleep you are resting them but 11 to 30 minutes of meditation daily keeping that eyes rest will give you 20% more energy in the eyes isn't that powerful yeah type out powerful in the chat box type out powerful in the chat box if you feel till here this video is powerful okay ganesh let me answer your question in the end okay i can see your question will minor injury to eye heal itself i can see it but i'll answer it once i finish okay i would really suggest you implement these techniques for the eyes okay along with what the doctor has given you the medicines okay this will really boost it up okay so now next this is a very powerful technique in ayurveda which says pada abhyanga what is pada abhyanga pada abhyanga is massaging your feet with oil so if you are a person who is having vata and kapha then uh, best to use the heating oils that is sesame oil if you are a pitta person you can use coconut oil which massage the feet why because feet has nerves see all the nerves are coming and getting converged in the feet and from the feet there is a connection to the eye so if you keep your feet clean if you keep your feet good if you don't keep your abuse your feet your eyes will be good so in the night before you go to sleep you can massage your legs the sole of your feet the sole of your feet if you massage with coconut oil or sesame oil if you are a vata and kapha sesame oil if you are a person who is a pitta person coconut oil this will make sure your eyes are good in the night in the night before sleep i am mentioning that ganesh before sleep massage let me just write it in the mind map so it's very clear massaging the feet before sleeping okay this will be really helpful for you when you do the pada abhyanga and your what will this do is it will make your sleep good and in other in the way it will make your eyes heal better because you are sleeping well and you are also meditating then you will do thratak meditation yes 11 to 30 minutes of thratak meditation also will help you this is going to be really powerful and then the next two habits are ones which are suggested in the ayurveda like sleeping in the day too much yes sleeping in the afternoon for 20 to 30 minutes is okay after a lunch yes but sleeping in the day too much 
of course if you are a night shift worker it's going to be really difficult it's majburi you got to do it but if you're not a night shift worker and you sleep in the day too much it is going to affect your eyes as simple as that because if you sleep more in the morning you increase the kapha in the system and automatically it affects the metabolism and as i said in the beginning i is a pitta organ so it start getting imbalanced if you sleep in the day too much next waking up late in the night if you wake up more than in the midnight right your vata and pitta gets imbalanced and when that happens your eyes become weak your eyes become weak and how to avoid this is by switching your mobile phone screens to gray scale mode after 10 pm there is a mode called gray scale where you can gray out the screen you can check that or by switching off at least for the wifi after 10 pm that will also help so in my inner circle coaching to into my community i gave this exercise and at least 80% of them reported better sleep time they were enjoying amazing sleep because i told them to do this exercise in my coaching and this is the power of the coaching i did right so this is what i'm saying to you if you are able to wake up if you are waking up late in the night right i would really suggest you don't use internet after 10 pm and you will see your eyes become healthy automatically because i faced this 2 3 days before i watched the mobile until 10:45 maybe and then i saw in the morning as really very tired and my eyes were really paining and after 2 days of good sleep now my eyes are back to full strength so that is the power of not waking up too late in the night or not watching the mobile too late in the night yes i hope you can do this yes then as i said eyes are pitta organ right so eyes are pitta organ so if you eat foods which increase your acidity which make you very acidic which make you feel constipated then it will affect your eye health automatically it will affect your eye health ladies and gentlemen okay so if you are eating foods which increase your acidity that also is going to reduce your eye health and finally after all this i would like to share with you some foods which are really powerful for your eyes okay so let me just one second yeah so i health nine nuggets so what is the last one is pomegranate black raisins that is munakka pomegranate and black raisins these are very powerful for the eye i repeat pomegranate and black raisins munakka are very powerful for the eye health so if you are going to take pomegranate and black raisins in your diet before food right pomegranate black raisins are quickly digested foods so before your heavy food in the morning you can take this but avoid it in the night when the morning if you can take pomegranate and munakka if you can soak it in the night and take it very powerful for your eyes so let me recap for you ladies and gentlemen all the nine steps okay on the nine nuggets first you have to understand eyes are pitta organ second wash the your eyes at least two to three times a day if you are at home if you are going out four times a day when you need to wash in the morning then you need to wash it after lunch then after you complete your work after the all the laptop and everything is switched off yes these are the three places then use a thratak meditation by focusing on a lamp or watching the early morning sun rays that also works if you are a early riser if not a lamp is easily accessible you can light a lamp and focus at it for at least 5 minutes or until the eyes start watering up and then you can close the eye and let those water which comes up in the eye wash your eye thratak meditation helps you fo- focus help you increase or concentration then using doing eye exercises rotating the eyes left right up and down then at least meditating and closing your eye for 11 13 minutes except sleep is one place where your eyes rest meditation of 11 to 13 minutes help you 20% comes out 20% of your energy of your eyes because you are not engaging the eyes so it's very powerful and gives you the energy then pada abhyanga massaging your feet before sleeping with coconut oil or sesame oil based on your body type really makes your eye health powerful okay then using ghee which reduces your acidity a little bit right ghee which increases your acidity if you eat too much of spicy foods if you eat too much of fried food now i'm not saying don't eat i'm saying have it in moderation if you have it too much without control it's going to affect your eye health sleeping in the day too much or being woke up in the night too much both reduce your eye health sleeping in the day too much or waking being up awake in the night too much is going to affect so if you have to be awake 
really suggest you not use your mobile after 10 pm it's going to be really powerful to keep your healthy eye okay and then pomegranate and black raisins are very powerful foods which help you keep your eye health yes these ladies and gentlemen were your nine nuggets to keep your eyes healthy yes so what is the correct time for pada abhyanga says ganesh that's night revati ji you can see the early morning sunrise yes if you have any questions you can put it in the chat box eyes ladies and gentlemen are the windows of your soul make sure you are taking care of them very simple techniques of nine techniques if you found this video powerful type out vip video is powerful in the chat box type out vip video is powerful in the chat box thank you so much for watching this video completely till the end and if you want to connect with me you can connect with me in three places first you can attend my live gaddi talks masterclass bit.ly slash 3 or gdm you can go to this link link will be in the description of the video if you're watching this on youtube yes if you want to join my vip community my vip facebook group you can go to this self healers vip group self healers hub if you go to my page on facebook there is a visit group click on that you can i'll approve you all right so that's second way and third way you can get on started on your health journey with us go to this link bit.ly/join-shb and you can see more and more people who are getting results from my coaching and you can get started on your health journey with us you can just invest and get started directly with us all right so these were the three ways what is the thank you thank you thank you ganesh thanks for typing vip if the video is powerful thank you so much and thank you so much everyone for watching this video completely till the end hit that like symbol love symbol sub hit the subscribe button if you really loved this video and share it with people in your community in your relatives in your friends who are having eye issues because these nine simple steps are really powerful and ayurveda recommends you take care of your eyes and your senses because without them how will you live in this world how will you experience this world right how will you experience this world is what i feel all right so let me let me take some questions now let's see yes thank you says revati thanks see you you can eat uh, revati carrot also is one of the food which helps okay because it has beta carotene right so it helps it helps uh, revati uh, with that use these nine techniques only eating raw carrot and you're sleeping late in the night or you're waking up in the day too much that's not going to fit you know you are breaking the part of the puzzle right only eating carrot or you know eating little amla or black raisins or pomegranate won't make your eyes healthy you need to you know sleep sleep on the night correct time before 12 p 12 am in midnight you know not sleep in the day too much not eat foods which increase your acidity then your eyes will automatically start healing right if you just follow these nine steps if you just take these nine steps and start implementing and seeing for yourself it's not blind following see see for yourself if it works or not it will work and when it start working your body will automatically say okay keep doing it it's working all right revati that is revati okay i hope that answers your question so thank you each and every one of you for watching this video subscribe to the channel until we meet again be healthy be happy and be unique this is sachin from self healers hub signing off namaste thank you so much for watching the video share and subscribe thank you namaste